if we want a better world, if we want to live happier, fulfilled, healthier, you know, with more compassion for everyone all over the world, then like we have to become it. We have to embody it. And, you know, that's just what we need to do. And, you know, while working at the farm here, I came to a lot of those realizations and, you know, I could go into a lot of different things, but that's basically the, the gist of it. And I definitely wasn't born growing up on tractors or uh, with a shovel in my hand. Um, it's something I came to naturally. I can't do the same thing for more than three days in a row. I bang my head against the wall and it's, uh, I just wasn't designed to do it. Um, and especially, especially at a farm, um, that's, uh, uh, that's what draws me into it. Um, I'm never doing the same thing twice. There needs to be, an, there absolutely needs to be a new generation of farmers. New generation of farmers are going to come, they're not going to come from rural communities, they're not going to come from traditional uh, farm families because those things don't exist in our uh, system anymore. These new farmers are going to come from uh, folks that live in the city. I'm seeing this surge, it's a tidal wave of young people who want to learn how to grow food and how to be part of this sustainable ag movement. Yeah, my day job in Manhattan, I work for a property management company and uh, yeah, it was like midtown, 40th floor, high heels, kind of um, horridness and I uh, hated it from day one. Um, felt felt kind of trapped there. It was what everybody else was doing, so it seemed like perfectly normal to be there and hating it. Um, but I found myself visiting farms on the weekends. Sometimes when I'm, when I'm out here seeding, I totally just can't believe that this is my job now and that I get to do this every day, and I feel very fortunate. Things are never the same on a farm. Um, the weather's changing, the crops are changing, the seasons are changing, the sunlight's changing, the weather's changing. Um, and I think that's probably my absolute favorite thing about farming. I wanted to be a business major to do contract law, but then becoming an environmental studies major, it's, it was imperative to actually have hands-on work because a lot of a lot of everything that happens in the field, it's more hands-on. So in order to have knowledge of what's going on, you, I think it's beneficial for you to actually, you know, do it yourself. I'm always impressed with how many of these young people who are typically suburban or even urban kids, uh, they do well on the farm. They're anxious and to learn how to can, how to garden, how to have backyard chickens. They want to know how to build something. They are anxious to learn the very basic skills of survival. And, uh, you know, the blue collar skills to me are more important these days than academics. Uh, although I don't, I don't belittle the academics, I do think that blue collar skills are critically important right now. I'm really glad to have had the horrible office experience because it makes me appreciate, still four years later, it makes me appreciate being here like every day. Like I really, really do. Hilltop Hanover Farm has been like more of um, a therapy for me. I don't really regard it as farming. Being indoors and being constrained to textbooks and I put so much work into my work and I really don't see the benefits of it paying off. When I'm on the farm I get to encounter nature and I see the balance and I I have my hands-on work within farming and the feeling from planting something and watching it grow, it's so gratifying. I think it's important for people to know that uh, this thing ain't easy that we're doing and, uh, and uh, I don't know, it takes a little bit of motivation and a little bit of elbow grease but it's worth it. Farm hard. <laughs> I can't tell you exactly how the world's going to play out in the next 20 to 50 years, but I think it's going to be very different. As the world's gotten bigger, we've also, we're, we rarely now have to make it smaller. And we have to think in terms of our immediate communities. What can we do? How can we take care of ourselves without getting input from far away? And the more skills we have in our own communities, the better off we're going to be. Um, and it's definitely much more satisfying. I feel like I'm doing something worthwhile and good and it's the kind of thing where instead of pushing paper around all day um, and not seeing anything finished, at the end of the day you can look back and like physically see the things that you've done and it's very, very satisfying work. Bumblebees are 
swarming. Trees sniffing twigs comes as silent warning. Watch the waters rise, soon it will be storming. Oh, oh mama, mama, won't you wake me up when it's morning? It's more.